Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is George Schlackheck. Yeah, and uh, this is yet another video about how I'm overhauling my 1989 Chevrolet C1500 pickup truck. Now, there are two things that are on the agenda here in the next few days, but I don't know how long it is actually going to take because I also have other things to do. But let me show you the floor here first. So you can see that this is very, very fresh and still shiny. This is the driver's side floor. I sealed the patch here with uh, the uh, roofing compound. And so one of the other things that need to be done is uh, the tires. I took one tire already off the rim and I inspected the rim. I think I need to like just clean it up a little bit with a wire brush. And hopefully the next tire that goes on there is going to seat on there nicely and not leak through the bead. I mean, those rims are nice mag wheels, but uh, you see that the paint is not really beautiful. But since these rims don't really supposedly not rust or anything, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Sometimes I have to remind myself that this is going to be a work truck and a perfection is kind of inappropriate. But at the same time, I'm trying to do a decent job that I'll enjoy. You know, even when it's done, I can drive around with this truck and feel good about it. I'm going to take it off and then sand this part here. So I've made the decision to mount these tires entirely on my own. There are uh, bubble balancers available to take care of the balancing. However, I found an even, maybe, perhaps, even better way of doing this. It only cost me 22 something dollars Canadian on Amazon, and those are balancing beads. The kit comes with four bags of these beads, and it comes with different valve cores that I guess don't get clogged by the beads or something like that. So uh, they should be here uh, either later tonight or perhaps tomorrow. And then uh, we're going to give this a whirl. I don't know how, f how much I could do tomorrow because I have an assignment for tomorrow. But throughout the week, that's what I'm going to do. Try to get tires on besides getting the floor done. <laughs> so I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but in reality, it is a lot. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing now is just to clean up the inside of the rim where the tire is hopefully going to steal without any major stuff in there. Maybe I should put some Vaseline on there or something. Something that doesn't attack the uh, rubber. So basically all I'm doing is to go all around the entire rim on both sides there is some residue from the black uh, tire rubber still there and I'm gonna just clean that up and then lubricate my new tire put it on there and see what happens the other surface I'm cleaning up is the tire itself the bead of the tire I can see residue from some rims on there still I don't want anything hindering the seal. I think this surface here is actually the more important one as it's supposed to stretch itself around the rim. After cleaning up both sides of the tire and also the rim, it was time to try and mount the tire, which turned out to be quite a battle. Definitely not as fast as I seen it on YouTube. But hey, this was just my first tire. Ah! 
I'm not very practiced at this, but that's gonna come. By the fourth tire, I'll be perfect. See, it's on to this point. No can can't handle dirt. So the truth is, it is not that easy, but all it is is lubrication and force in the right place and hold everything in place. And I did the first shot, uh, the first bead. I finished it off camera because it was trial and error back and forth. And now I'm halfway through the second bead and I try to film this for you. Mind you, it's another one I haven't done before. So uh, I, I'm just going by what another guy on YouTube showed and hopefully that's actually going to work. <laughs> It looks like a struggle, but it's not bad. Look at it. See, I don't want contaminants in there, but that I would call it two thirds done. A little bit more spray and jump on it again. even showing since I successfully did one of them uh, to me that means that I could easily do the other f uh, uh, three three more Th three more to go I think this video is probably gonna be dedicated mostly to installing my first ever tire that um, I'm installing myself at home here without a tire machine now I got this new one set on the rim, but it's not seated. It's the, the beads aren't seated. And that's what I'm working on right now. See, I got some soapy water here. That's my lube. This, my friends, is my magic. And I, I set the tire on another tire because that'll allow me to jump right on the top of it there. What you see here is based on what seemed to be sound and solid YouTube advice. Yes, somebody actually seated the tire like this. So let's see what happens here. Well, let's just say I had a good workout and hopefully you had a good laugh. But this did not work for me. Yeah, one tip. If you're planning to put these balance beads in there, 
put them before you put the tire onto the rim because uh, yeah it's so tight you know there's not much room for it i actually had to lubricate the bag and wiggle it in there and uh, spray it with the detergent the dish detergent because yeah i didn't want to break it and have these beads all over the place so my bead on the other side i don't think it's still not set yet but yeah i think it might actually seal around the perimeter because of the way it's in there and i might just try and blow some air in there and see what happens So that's only step one of the cleaning process. After this, I'm taking sandpaper and I go all around and then at the end, before I put the tire on, I actually put a little thin layer of grease on there. I know you're not supposed to use grease on rubber, but I'm thinking this is uh, gonna work, you know, gonna make extra sure that there's no air leak around the rim. And um, well, these tires aren't the newest anyway. So if eventually, you know they disintegrate but i i heard that a lot of people actually have used grease and haven't experienced any problems with it so you know i'm just going with it the two front ones worked fine I apologize, but my battery died before I got it on. Like getting the last bead on is a little bit of a, a dance, a little bit of a struggle. But if you have those, uh, you know, the bead lubricated, it, it works kind of for you when it slips on, but it also works against you when it tries to slip back off. But overall, you get the hang of it. I think I'm getting better and better at this. There's the crow. So now the thing is how to inflate the bead. I mean, how to seat the bead. My secret here is I got a compressor. All right, now I'm going to show you what I learned since the last time I did this. There's another tire completely mounted. It's a bit labor intense, but I think it's worth it.